Now I'm going to share a little secret with you, the hidden gem village of Switzerland, which lays in the lower Engadin and it's called Guarda. It's a very peaceful, calm and cute village, full of beautiful houses and also it's the hometown of Schelle Norsley. So strap yourself in and get to know this hidden gem Swiss village. This is Guarda. Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to tell you a beautiful story about a boy called Orsin who used to live in this town here. This is probably the most read traditional comic of Switzerland. We all know it as Schelle Norsley, but in English it's actually called A Bell for Orsley. Despite this comic is so popular around this country, this town here is actually only little explored. It's one of the most beautiful villages of Switzerland, so let's go and explore it together. Now, what it's really important for you, should you want to visit Guarda, it is actually pretty off the urban centers. So that means it's going to take quite long. Should you start from Zurich by car, then it's about three hours. You even will have to take the Freiner tunnel. That's why I recommend you to take a shortcut. But should you want to travel by public transportation, then you'll have to take the train from Zurich to Landquart, interchange to another train to Guarda Station. And over there, you will have to take a bus called Postauto, which will take you up to the village to Guarda Commune. What I particular like about Guarda is the fact that it's car free. So because of that, the village is going to be rather calm and also makes it more family friendly. And in addition, because of that, the holiday vibes up there are just a lot more authentic. Now if you're arriving here by car, then you'll have to park it in front of the village and walk for a couple of hundred meters. As I was walking into the village, I had to take this road, which at times was a bit steep. But then when I was looking to the left and the right, there were a lot of interesting details I was discovering. So here you can see there are already a couple of really beautiful houses. And then take a look at the doors. So here in the lower Engadin, they're round. This is actually very characteristic for this region. And I think it looks actually really cute. Towards the end, the road was getting a bit steeper, but then I was awarded with a really beautiful village center. Once I arrived there, it kind of became apparent why Guarda belongs to the most beautiful villages of Switzerland. As I was looking around, there were so many really nice houses and many of them actually had these very unique decorations. So when you take a closer look, you will see them around the window and door frames. The locals call them Scrafitti. I would say this feature is the most characteristic about the houses in the canton of Graubünden. In the beginning of this video, I was telling you about Schelle Norsley, which is actually the most known Swiss children book. So Guarda is actually his hometown and there is even a museum dedicated to him. When you're entering there, then you will see this museum is actually all about the traditional lifestyle. So here you can see how the people used to live in the old days. Then all over the museums, you will see many of these books, a bell for Osli in English, and there are many printouts of the individual pages. Now, once you're done with exploring the museum, I recommend you to walk in this alley. That's the one with this reddish and orangish houses. <laughs> wow, I just really love this spot. So many beautiful houses and then really a lot of details to notice. It's definitely very enjoyable to walk in there and don't forget to take some photos. As Guarda lays in the Engadin, probably most of you won't know that the predominant language here is not German, but Romansch. This is one of the four national languages of Switzerland, but it's the only one that is only spoken in this country. Just to teach you a few useful words, for example, if you want to greet someone, then you will say Allegra. Or if you want to say thank you very much, then you'll use the term Grazie the people of Guarda are native in German, but then the region is also putting in a lot of efforts to preserve their original language called Romansch. This really shows in school where half of the classes are taught in German, but then also in Romansch. I'm now in front of the Schelle Nosli house, so that's the one which is portrayed on the cover of this book. It's a landmark of this town and it's probably also the most photographed subject in Guarda. 
Now this here is a little bit strange because if you take a closer look to the door here and a book cover then you would notice that they are the same. But just before I was introducing to you the Shell and Norsley house and the door over there looks different. Well this is because the door was actually moved from that house to this one here. After all, Guarda is quite small, but no worries, you haven't explored the upper part yet. The alley over there is also very pretty. Keep paying attention to the many details. In fact, there are so many houses which are great subjects for photography. I'm now in the upper part of the village. You can see the alley is very beautiful with all the painted houses. It's really like being in a fairy tale. You should walk to the end of the village, because from there you'll have a very beautiful viewpoint. There is this nice hiking trail which will take you to the next village, and if you even walk further, then you would arrive in Ardez. This is a village that is very similar to the one here in Guarda. When I was talking to the locals of Guarda, they told me that their village is not only among the most beautiful ones of Switzerland, and in fact, it's also considered to be one of the most preserved ones of the country. Well, and I think that really shows. As you're walking around the village, you will see there are a lot of fountains. These actually play an important role in the local tradition, especially during Chalanda Marts. I'm going to share you more about this unique tradition in a separate video. Some of you may know about this, but I'm pretty sure not everyone does. In Switzerland, you can actually drink the water from pretty much every fountain, unless there's a no drinking sign. So this is actually a really good way for you to save some money. You can just basically bring along a bottle and you can refill it at pretty much every fountain. The water here in Switzerland is actually very pure. Also quite nice is to check out the church from indoors. It's a Protestant church, so it's actually quite humble. There's not much in there, but I always find it quite interesting to explore the local places of worship in the individual villages. Another thing that I really enjoyed about Guarda, the village is actually very little visited. I came here in August, which is considered to be peak season, and there were actually not that many people. Most of the people who were visiting were actually local Swiss from the region of Zurich. So if you really want to take it easy, have a quiet day, and just really enjoy a very authentic village, then I would say Warda is just perfect. And in addition, this village is perfect for budget traveling. 